Sunny 101.9 plays Maddie and Tay from their The Way I Feel CD. 830 straight down. Die from a broken heart. Let's not do that. All right. 35 degrees. North winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. It is a BEA beautiful morning out there this morning. And as always, on a Wednesday morning about 830, we've got somebody from Dakota College of Botano. And this morning we have April Nylander on the phone. Good morning, April. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Did I get the last name right, April? Yep, that's right. Yes. All right. All right. So, <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I appreciate that. So what is your official title over there at the at the college? So I am the ECH firm manager. <clears throat> so I'm kind of jack of all trades. I mm -hmm. do the flower landscaping on campus, uh, the campus vegetable gardens that provide vegetables for our um, dining services here on campus. And we'll be selling some of those vegetables to Botton Public School next year as okay. well. And um, we do the Botton City Planters also. Very, very, very and, cool. Go ahead. And I'm kind of uh, behind the scenes. I, I keep the greenhouse running and support the faculty however they, they need help uh, and provide plants for their classes and that sort of thing. Some instructional help as well. Very, very cool. Well, speaking of the greenhouse, um, how is it going over there? I mean, obviously, uh, we're in a different time right now, but uh, are, are things kind of business as usual, or what, what's going on at the greenhouse, April? You know, we had a, a lot of stuff started, a lot of plants started before this COVID hit, so mm -hmm. we're just continuing on as normal. Um, in some ways, uh, growing flowers seems a little trivial right now, but at the same time, I feel like with COVID-19 turning everybody's life upside down, um, it's nice to have nature there to remind us that life's going to go on. The flowers are still growing, the, um, and they're still blooming. We're still going to plant everything on campus as normal. We have a good uh, summer crew hired on that will start here in mid-May. Okay. And um, I think if, if anything good can come out of this bad situation we're all in right now, I, I think that more people are going to be interested in gardening. Um, I'm anticipating that. I'm, I'm hoping for that. And uh, I'm willing to help uh, beginning gardeners get started. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on the DCB Horticulture page or uh, mm -hmm. give me a call. And um, we will be, I, I've started probably a thousand vegetable plants. Wow. <laughs> we're still, we're still going to proceed with our plant sale in some capacity. We're brainstorming on um, different ways that we can do that safely, whether that's uh, uh, virtual or uh, maybe by appointment only letting one person in at a time, that sort of thing. We're not sure yet, but we'll... Um, probably get on the air with you as we get closer to that time and uh, let you know what the plan is there. But uh, I'm hoping that people will want a vegetable garden. I mean, our uh, food sources are very, uh, can be a scary thing right now, I mm -hmm. feel like, depending on other areas like California to get our vegetables. Sure. Who knows mm -hmm. what's going to happen. So I really hope that people want a vegetable garden. So that's why I've started so many vegetable plants to sell to people. Whatever we don't sell, um, I'm going to donate to the Butno Food Pantry. Very cool. I haven't actually talked to them about that, so I hope that's okay. If not, I'll just set up a table outside the food pantry. I, I can't imagine that they wouldn't want that. I mean, that and it's it's local, it's it's homegrown, it's uh, it's good, and it's good for you at the same time. That's right. I, I think it was very cool the way you said that, you know, uh, the way people are nowadays, like you said, the world has been turned upside down. I think, yeah, I think a lot of people are craving some normal. And uh, this this is a great way to, to do it, too. And hopefully there is an uptick in gardening because maybe we are on our way to a, a simpler time after all this. I don't know, but I'm, I'm all for that, I guess. I think there will be some good that comes out of this. And uh, the for those that still don't want to garden, but mm -hmm. are interested in local foods. I know the Botano Farmer's Market is going to be big this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're gearing up for their season, just had their first meeting of the year. So wow. there will be fresh produce available there. Yes, that is great. Hey, speaking of going around the town, like, you know, like we have these areas set up for the, 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 the farmer's markets and things like that. What's going on with the Botano City Planners? Oh, um, so this is actually my first year planting the Botno City Planters. Oh. I'm pretty excited. I had this planned out before 
COVID hit, and I think it's even even more meaningful to me, at least, after this pandemic. But um, I chose to do uh, Botano Public School themed Botano City Planters. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see lots of purple and white. Um, the hanging baskets are going to be full of purple and white cascading petunias hanging down, and uh, the cement planters will have some different purple and white flowers. I'm pretty excited about that. I Very hope cool. that people can get out to Main Street again by this summer and actually enjoy those. And also, yeah, that 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 will that will be very fun. Um, you have something coming up. Uh, start, I believe, in May. It's a, like a uh, an online series, like Facebook or something like that. What is that all about? Yeah. So we have uh, Amy and I here in the greenhouse. Amy's an instructor. Um, have started a Facebook Live DCB Green Thursdays, where we do like a live uh, video, some sort of horticulture related thing. Um, our audience can range from kids i mean some of the videos are more aimed towards children to um, beginner gardeners uh, maybe we'll have some more advanced stuff later but um in may we are partnering with an organization called farms mm -hmm. and they're uh an organization based out of tuttle focused on sustainable farming and um, local foods in north dakota um, small scale farms okay so we were actually supposed to be holding an event here um, which was canceled in conjunction with Farms uh, for their mentorship program. Okay. And that was canceled. So we brainstormed and decided to come up with a, a virtual series instead. So every Thursday in May at 3 o'clock, we're going to be uh, doing these DCB green videos in conjunction with Farms. We're going to go over um, the horticulture programs that we offer here. Um, give some tours, that sort of thing. Um, and, yeah, it should be a good series for anyone that's interested in what we're doing up here and uh, what programs we have to offer. Very cool. Uh, April, if, if somebody has questions about any of the things we've talked about this morning, how do we get a hold of you? Um, by email works. Okay. That's April, A-P-R-Y-L dot Nylander, N Y L A N. D E R at Dakota College dot edu or um, go ahead and message us on our Facebook page. It's DCB Horticulture. And that's uh, usually Amy or I that run that page. Okay. Or if someone wants to give me a call, my cell number is 550-1564. All right. Very cool. Well, I, uh, I hope we get to chat again with you soon. I mean, uh, with the farmer's markets and everything, hopefully going to be starting soon. We would love to see how uh, DCB is going to be involved with all that too, okay? Great. All yeah, right. Thank you for having me on today. Yeah, appreciate your time this morning. If you're tired, go back to sleep if you can. No, I have too much work to do. Plants oh. to water, things to grow. All right. Well, you get back <laughs> to that then, and we'll get back to this, and you have a great day, all right? Okay, thank you. You too. Bye. Thanks, April. Bye-bye. That is April Nylander from Dakota College of Botany. Again, uh, cell number if you want to get a hold of her, 550-1564 and the DCB Horticulture page as well, or april.nylander at dakotacollege.edu. 838 is the time into our next seven-day forecast we go. It's next right here on Sunny. Hi, this is Mitch Loop, Administrator from Botano Good Samaritan Center. We are going to be following...